Welcome to another Saint Spotlight. In this edition, our guest is Luis Sierra, Professor of History in the College of Arts and Sciences at Thomas More University. Professor Sierra is involved in the 2020-2021 Six at Six Lecture Series hosted by NKU. Thanks for joining us, Luis. Thank you so much for having me, Judy. Tell us a little about yourself and how you came to be at Thomas More University. I'm originally from New Mexico. Went to undergraduate at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque, where I'm from. I uh, got a degree in Latin American Studies and History. Something I tell students but hadn't told in a long time, actually, is a story about how I got a 59 on my very first uh, <laughs> history exam in college. Oh, even no. though I thought I was a good historian. <laughs> so that's a lesson for everybody, right? That you can mm-hmm. fail at something you think you're good at. And actually, the lesson mm-hmm. in it was go see your professors. That was the real lesson I learned, actually, is I failed, and I failed because I didn't ask for more help. Uh, I went then from the University of New Mexico to uh, Binghamton University. It's a state university of New York. I got my master's and PhD there. I taught at Ithaca College uh, as an adjunct. And um, before coming to Thomas More, I was at Wilmington College for two years, which is in Ohio. Then I came to Thomas More in the fall of 2016. I teach U.S. history and I teach uh, World Civ, and then I teach upper level courses in, in, in both of those areas. So I've taught things like piracy and black markets, I've taught a sports class. Um, I teach environmental history, and then I teach African-American history. Sounds like you've been interested in history for a long time. So what do you find fascinating through that topic? I was thinking about this question actually um, more broadly, you know, and I was like, when did I first start liking history? I'm remembering back uh, a couple of different things, right? One thing is my parents had this collection of little kid history books, and they were like on really specific topics. So one was like on um, Davy Jones, the naval captain for for the United States Navy in the American Revolution. Another one was on Andrew Jackson. Another one was on the Battle of the Bulge. You know that kind of thing. Remember, really enjoying that. We also had a collection of Time magazine. You remember how they used to come out with those um, like encyclopedias and books? One on the West, amazing. And so those are the the things I remember about loving history as a little kid. That's really where my love of history started. And then as a college student, my junior year, I realized that I wanted to go and be a professor. I have to say that it was a a professor that was a mentor to me that inspired me to go on to graduate school um, and and get a a PhD in order to be a professor myself. Tell us a little bit about this year's Six at Six series and how you became involved. So this year's Six at Six is a partnership by the Kentucky University Press. Um, the Center for Civic Engagement at NKU, our very own, the William Q. Robinson Institute for Religious Liberty. They are all co-sponsoring along with several others. But this year's lecture series is focusing on uh, race and class in America. I got involved because Dr. Aber is on the board of Kentucky University Press. He's also director of the Institute for Religious Liberty. And initially, he asked me to talk this summer on a program for teachers in Kentucky, because Kentucky recently changed their uh, teaching standards to be inquiry-based, and inquiry-based is kind of the way that I think historians work. So there was a panel discussion that included two historians from NKU and then myself, and the panel was on how to teach uh, race in the context of modern America, and the panel itself was right around the same time as the George Floyd protests uh, were occurring. And so it it felt like a really timely kind of conversation that we had. Um, And they really, uh, the Center for Civic Engagement and their director was really happy with um, how well the panel went. And from there, they uh, invited me to speak on the Six at Six. I picked the Grimke sisters because they are so unique and pioneering in the areas of abolition of slavery and also um, in terms of feminist thought and theory. Um, They are sort of groundbreakers. They're before the groundbreakers that people normally know of and hear of. Um, And so I really wanted to get their story out. Beyond that, they're upper-class women, elite uh, from the South. Uh, Their family owned slaves. They both converted uh, to Quakerism at one point, and they both moved north to Philadelphia, renounced their connections to uh, their family in the sense that they were always 
trying to get their family to free their slaves. They spoke out against the slave system from the perspective of a planter's daughters, right? And so right. they had a particular kind of perspective on slavery and why abolition was important. And so I felt like that was a really unique kind of uh, position in history, and I'm almost certain most people haven't heard of them. Beyond that, given that this is the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage, the, the writer, the author of this uh, text, her name is Erda Lerner, and she's like one of the most famous of that first generation of women's historians during the second wave feminism of the uh, late 60s and, and early 70s. And the text is a classic, so I use it in African American history, and that's how I um, sort of came to decide, okay, this is what we're going to present for the 6 at 6 lecture, which again is focused on uh, race this year. And there's actually 10 lectures over the course of the year. If you could time travel, what period would you go back to? If I could see anything in the world, because there's no, uh, there was no public diary for discussions that went on during the, the writing of the Constitution. If I could see the ah. debates, I would. I think that would be the, the one period I would want to go back to, you know, because we know very little about the debates that went on uh, during the framing of the Constitution. So we don't know often intent as a result. And in the chamber, because they didn't. Um, they kept the windows closed in the middle of summer in Philadelphia. They didn't allow anybody to copy the daily uh, log without permission. They weren't allowed to say anything about um, what they were doing inside the chamber, outside of it, you know. And so I'd like to be in the chamber as a fly on the wall to hear what they say and, and try to hear what the intent was behind some of the stuff that they wrote. Your best advice for Thomas More students? I think my best advice is advice I received as an undergraduate, and there are two go to class. And the second one is no man is an island, right? And so uh. when no man is an island, you always, always, always need to be connected to other people and ensure that your personal relationships are just as important as your work. You need others and others need you. Professor Sierra, thank you so much for being our Saint Spotlight. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate the time and uh, I hope it was uh, interesting and entertaining. Professor Sierra's 6 at 6 segment is scheduled for November 17, 2020. To attend or listen to his segment, please visit nku.edu slash 6 at 6. That's nku.edu slash S-I-X-A-T-S-I-X.